everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm coming at you with another fall clothing haul again it's for work um, I have a lot a lot of stuff to show you and I'm really really excited so let's just jump right in if you are new to my channel please take a moment to subscribe um, that would make me really happy um, my name is Zoe and I make videos about um, spinning days in the life and now I'm starting a new sort of journey in my life which is a new job that's a corporate job it's my first job out of university so I've been making hauls and I'm gonna be doing videos about um, outfits and that kind of thing uh, related to working nine to five so if any of that interests you please make sure you're subscribed below you can also follow me on Instagram to see me post like outfit of the days and outfit pictures um, my Instagram will be linked here and lastly please make sure you give this video a thumbs up just to let me know that you liked the video and it also helps other people find my channel all that kind of stuff so with all that being said let's get into the video I'm so excited to do this haul I have so much stuff to show let's start Okay, so I have a lot of bags. These have all been sitting on the floor for a while because um, just like the last haul that I did, which you should totally check out if you haven't seen it yet, that was all from Aritzia. Um, this is a mix of stores and it's been collective. It's been over time. Um, like I said in my last video, I do try and get less but better quality pieces just because it lasts you longer um, and I just think it's more of a worthwhile way to spend your money. That's kind of been what I'm going for. So I don't know which store should we start with. I think we can start with Simon's. Um, yeah, let's jump in. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I got from Simon's. If you're not familiar with this store, um, it's a Canadian store, but they do ship worldwide. So you can, um, I'll link the website down below and I'll link every piece that I got. Um, they have a ton of stuff. It's kind of like a department store. Um, and it was started in Quebec, so that's nice. Um, so I also used to work here. <laughs> so that's why I love it. Um, yeah, so this is all from Simon's. Everything from Simon's is um, like, I would say moderately priced. It's not cheap, like it's not like Forever 21, um, but it's not crazy expensive like Aritzia either. So you can get a lot of really um, good quality and like well-priced pieces from Simon's. So let's see what we got. First things first, I got this turtleneck. Um, it's like a kind of dusty rose color. It's like a t-shirt material. It's very, very soft. Oh, sorry. The lighting is weird. Um, it's really, really soft and it's really tight. So I have this already in black and I love it. I wear it all the time. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to get pink just to kind of shake things up a bit. The turtleneck is really long um, and I really, really like it. This was $30. Definitely worth it. Um, it's from the Econ department, but I'm going to link it down below and I got a size small. Next is also pink. Um, this is a cardigan. It's kind of like a granny cardigan. That's how I call these. Um, it has like pink buttons up the middle. And normally I used to hate cardigans like this. I thought they were like too granny. But I've been seeing a lot of girls wearing them like fully buttoned up. Like kind of as a sweater in itself. Like instead of open. Um, and it's really cute. And I think it would look nice with jeans or with like business pants. Um, and even opened up. I don't know. I've, I've kind of... I kind of like the look now. Next from Simon's is I got this plain white t-shirt. This was $10. It's made of organic cotton. I already have one like it, but I think it's going to just be kind of like a staple piece to just tuck into like business pants. I really like how that looks. Um, my dress code at work is like business casual, but I'm going to try and dress it up a little bit, at least in the beginning because it's a new job. Um, but I just like having these to be able to layer with. And like I said, it was $10. Next, I got a sweater. This one I'm really excited about. It's a bit cropped, um, which I like because I do like to wear high-waisted pants with the tie. Um, it's red, it's knit, it has a little bit of wool in it, and it feels so soft and it's like such good quality. It's a bit thin too, so you're not going to be like sweating in it. Um, and I think it's like a really good fall sweater that I'll also definitely wear into the winter time as well. Um, so this was $50, which is a, like a little bit more expensive, but if you compare to the prices of sweaters at like Aritzia or Banana Republic or something, um, it's definitely affordable. Um, and the quality at Simon's is really, really good. The last thing that I got from Simon's is another sweater. This one's green. Um, I don't own anything this color. This is like an emerald green, but I really like it. And I feel like with my dark hair, it will look nice. Or like, I like to wear my hair in like a low bun like this. And I think that would be like a really cool look. I also think if you have green eyes, like you need this sweater. Like my roommate Camilla, she has really pretty green eyes and I'm just like, oh, this sweater would look so nice on her. Um, so this also from Simon's, size is small and um, I think it was 
The reason uh, I'm saying the sizes is because I think it could be helpful for if you want to shop online, like through the links that I'm linking below. Um, if you, yeah, so normally I'm like a small um, at stores like Simon's. At Aritzia, I take a medium. Um, H&M, usually I take a medium. So if that kind of, Simon's fits a little bit bigger. Um, so if that is any sort of guide, normally I'm a medium because like I have bigger chest. Um, so yeah, normally I'm a medium. I would place like H&M. So Simon's fits a bit small. So if you're really small, you maybe want to try an extra small. Yeah, that's my tips. They also, <laughs> I'm just plugging Simon's because I used to work there and I, like, I know everything about them, but I, I do like them. If you're ordering online, they have amazing customer service for returns. So if you do order the wrong size, um, they're really, really good about returns. So you don't have to worry. Okay, next is from Frank and Oak. I've never shopped here before, so I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got from this store. And again, um, Frank and Oak is a Canadian brand. They're from Montreal. So lately, I've just been loving like supporting brands that come from like Canada or come from like around where I live, especially Montreal, um, because I just think it's nice to support you know people around and all of these companies are doing super well so I don't know it's exciting um, so Frank and Oak used to be only for men I remember I was dating a guy who was like obsessed with Frank and Oak and he loved shopping there and uh, then they opened women's and I just at the beginning I didn't like the styles they offered but now they have more variety so I really really like it um, I had such a good experience shopping there and yeah they also have um, they also have an online store so I will link everything here um, so let's start. Frank and Oak is a bit more expensive. I would say it's higher than Simon's and lower than Aritzia pricing. Um, but you get amazing quality and they use a lot of like recycled materials like recycled wool or recycled water bottles to make the lining of their jacket. And everything is really good quality. I honestly think it's better quality than Aritzia for a lower price. So let's put this on the floor. The first thing I got is this sweater. Clearly I'm on a sweater kick, but it's like I don't really own any sweaters because I... When I was in university, I was just wearing hoodies all the time, dressing like a hoodlum. Um, so this is a little bit of a cropped sweater. Um, it's wool, it's really, really nice. It has a bit of a turtleneck that you can fold down. When I tried this on, I didn't wanna like it because of the price, but I tried it on and I loved it so much. Um, it's $90, which, you know, pretty expensive for a sweater, but I think it's gonna last me a long time and it's the kind of style that will stay in style for a while. And I got a size medium. The next thing I got from Frank and Oak, this I'm so excited about, I'm obsessed with it, is this blazer. So this is the kind of cut, uh, sorry, the kind of style that I've been seeing everywhere. It's more of a fitted style than what's currently in right now, with, which is like the oversized blazer. But because it was expensive, I wanted to get it in a fit that I think will suit me longer. Um, so this is another one of those things that you can just leave at the office um, and like throw on if you're cold or throw on like if you want to, um, like if you're going to like meet somebody, um, it's like the, a good blazer for that. So it's actually navy blue and white and orange. Um, it's not black, but I think that's nice for like just a bit of variety. I don't actually own navy blue, navy blue pants, maybe I should. But I think you could match it with black and no one would even be able to tell the difference. Um, it has really nice pockets on this one. It has like an interior pocket and little pockets on the side. So I really, really recommend this blazer. They have other um, styles and fits of blazers at Frank and Oak. So check out on the website what they have. There was another one that I really wanted to get, but I'd already gotten the one from Aritzia. But honestly, guys, this is better quality than Aritzia and it was half the price. So this blazer was 150. The one I got from Aritzia was 220. Um, so this is honestly, it's it's better value. So I really, really recommend checking out Frank and Oak if you haven't yet. Okay, the last thing I got I'm really excited about is this white turtleneck. It's really similar to the pink one that I just showed. Um, it's really, really nice quality, really like thick. The reason I didn't get the pink one that I showed in white was because from Simon's it was a bit transparent, but this one is like not transparent at all, so I really like it. Um, it was a bit more expensive, it was $50, but I think it's really worth it. What does this tag say? So that's everything from Frank and Oak. We can move on. Um, I think I'm gonna take a, no, we'll do shoes at the end. Um, okay, so. If we move on then, um, this is in a random bag, but uh, I got two random, say random one more time, Zoe. I got a few random things. Let's start with these pants. Um, these pants I got from Banana Republic. 
I don't love Banana Republic. I find they're a bit too mature for me sometimes and it's really expensive, but they often have 40% off sales. So I'm not gonna shop there at full price because they always go on 40% off. So keep an eye out um, for Banana Republic for like pants and kind of like basics um, for when they go on 40% off. But these are the Sloan pants, which apparently are like a classic. My stepmom said that she like wears this brand, uh, this brand and this like, I wanna say Mark, but it's not Mark. It's like a style, I guess, like fit. Um, so these feel like really amazing quality. They're really thick. They don't feel flimsy. You know, they're the kind of pants that like you're not gonna see your panty line through. Um, and they're not, you know, like bad quality, like H&M pants. They were really, really comfortable on. Um, I got a size two, which normally I'm like a four, so I'm actually surprised. So you may want to size down in these. Um, and yeah, these were, I actually forget how much they were, but I think I paid about $60 for them with a the discount. They have nice pockets and yeah, they're really, really nice. They're just like the classic black plaid pants that I think kind of everybody needs. And you can wear these with like a white t-shirt. You could wear them uh, with a sweater over top. Like I think these and that red sweater that I just showed is going to be really nice. Um, so I'm excited to wear it. And like I said in my last video, make sure that you're subscribed because I'm going to be posting a ton of like outfit styling videos. It's really something that gets me excited. Like I love clothes. I love styling outfits. I love mixing and matching the pieces that i already own rather than like shopping all the time um so if that is something that interests you please subscribe so that you can see those videos um let's keep going with this haul so next is h m um i got this sweater that i absolutely adore now i kind of have moved away from shopping at h m just because i found the quality was going down a bit um but i popped in with my friend the other day and we had both ended up getting this sweater um because we loved it so much so this was $35, so a bit more expensive for H&M, but the quality felt nice. I got a size medium, and yeah, it's just like a beige, um, a little bit cropped sweater. It's really soft, and I really like the way it fits and feels, so that's really nice. Oh, I have another thing from H&M that I forgot. So also from H&M, I got this coat, which is, it's not a teddy material, it's kind of like a... It's like a fake teddy material. You can really see it well here. Um, but it's like a long pea coat. It kind of reminds me of a house coat, um, but I think it looks really nice and it's gonna be really warm um, when the fall days get cooler. So I think it'll be nice for like walking to the office, walking to work and stuff, or maybe for going out for dinner time, that kind of thing. Uh, this coat was a really good price. It was $80, which I can't believe. When I got to the store, they barely had any sizes left. They had zero, two, and 12. Um, and normally like, I take like a four or a six at H&M, um, but I tried on the two just for fun and it fit. So we, maybe you want to size down. I'll see if I can find a link online for this coat and hopefully you can get your hands on it because it's a really good deal. It's lined, like it looks like a really nice quality and 80 bucks, not bad. Okay, the last few things I got from H&M are accessories. Um, oh, actually one of them, whatever. I got um, these earrings that are like a kind of tortoise -y, Earring. Um, I'm really excited to wear these. I think they'll be really cute just at work or out for dinner, whatever. I also got these hair clips. These are actually from Aldo, um, but you can get these anywhere. You can honestly get them on Amazon for super cheap. Um, they're like the pearly headbands. Now, I don't know if I like missed the boat on this trend, but I really like it. And I wear my hair in low buns all the time because I'm so lazy. And I just think for like the office, it'll kind of like spice it up to have like a fun clip like this. So I'm really excited for these. Okay, perfect. So the last two things I have left are bras and shoes. I'll save the bras for the end and we can talk about shoes now. Um, but I got a bunch of shoes, well, a bunch. I got three pairs from this store called Interval. It's another Canadian company, um, but yeah, they're also from Montreal. So I don't know, I've just really been loving like shopping kind of local, but I'm saying local, but they're brands that are everywhere now. So they started in Montreal and now you can access them everywhere. So I'll link everything. It doesn't matter where you live. You can order um, these shoes and they have stores across Canada too if you prefer to go in. The lighting is weird. I think I need to... Okay, so yeah. So let's get into it. I got three pairs of shoes from that store. So first shoes I got were on sale. That's the thing I love about... Interval. I love this brand because everything is made in either Portugal, Italy, or Brazil, um, or no, Spain, Italy, or Brazil, um, and everything is real leather. Um, 
everything is real leather and they're like handcrafted so you know they're really good quality but the prices aren't outrageous like the prices are really comparable to I would say Steve Madden but the quality is a million times better and you can tell like as soon as I tried on the shoes I was like whoa like they just feel so good such good quality um, so the first pair I got are these little sandal kind of mule things I think these will transfer nicely into the fall and they're like a nice sort of like orangey red color I really really like these I think if you're wearing like an all black outfit or an all neutral outfit with like a little pop of color it's gonna be really nice um, and now I know like they're not the most fall appropriate shoe but I think you could definitely wear these like into late October or they're the kind of shoe that you can keep at the office and change into when you get there so these were um, I think I paid $50 for them so that's really really good um, and they were originally like 140 or something which at the beginning of the summer paying 140 for these definitely would have been worth it the next shoe I got is also kind of a sandal but same thing I think you can leave it at the office or even just wear it you know into October um, this is a black leather sandal with like the two straps I think they're just so nice they feel so comfortable as soon as I put them on I knew I had to have them and these were on sale I think they were I paid about $90 which for real leather shoes is amazing like these would be fake leather and they'd be 120 at Steve Madden so definitely definitely worth it okay and the last pair of shoes I got are a bit more casual um, but I think they're office appropriate of course depending on where you work I know for me these will be okay um, they're actually running shoes so they look like this um, I know they look a bit weird but they kind of remind me of like Balenciaga's or the Louis Vuitton sneakers they actually really really remind me of the Louis Vuitton sneakers that have like the really high arch so I think they were inspired by that um, but these are also real leather they feel like amazing quality and I got these on sale for a hundred dollars these are definitely shoes that I can wear like all winter long um, I'm gonna leave them at the office and they just feel so comfy so I probably won't start out work wearing these but you know once I've been there a few weeks and I can kind of tone it down and get more casual I think these will be really nice okay my camera cut me off while I was talking about the shoes but you guys get the gist um, so the last thing I want to talk about are these bras that I got from Lululemon I'm just gonna make it really really quick um, so all throughout university I literally wore like bralettes and like sports bras just because I decided when I woke up one day and I decided I hated regular bras um, and I still hate them but I was like okay maybe like wearing bralettes in the office like isn't the best so I got two bras from Lululemon I was going in there to buy a sports bra I didn't even know that they sold like daily bras and they do and they are amazing so I just want to show them in case you didn't know that they sell these now um, so I got this bra it doesn't have any padding but it has a lot of support because of the thickness of the band um, and it's just Lululemon so you know it's gonna be good quality um, so I got this one with no padding um, which is really nice this was $70 and I got this one that has a little bit of padding um, and a little bit of push-up which normally I don't like but I really liked the way this fit I got both in the beige because I like to wear um, like lighter colors and I like to wear white and then you don't have to worry about them showing so these are amazing and they're also made with like a more sporty material so you can go longer without washing them because I'm I'm sure I'm not alone like who who washes their bras that frequently I don't think anyone does right so yeah so both of these were $70 um, and I'll link them below from Lululemon okay guys that was really long um, if you watched the whole thing thanks for bearing with me I hope that maybe this gave you some uh, inspiration for what to wear in the fall or just some things to look out for um, for purchasing and yeah stay tuned like I said for any videos about like styling these clothes and office fashion um, I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in my next video bye